Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Story Time. Today's story is called Green is a Chili Pepper. Do you like peppers? Peppers can be kind of spicy. Some are hotter than others. Let's take a look at the cover and see if we can figure out what this story is about. Well, I see a boy and a girl and I see that they have uh, something. The little girl has a basket and it looks like it's full of peppers, but not any kind of pepper, green peppers. There's even a little ladybug crawling on uh, the plant. And then there's a boy, and do you see what he has in his hand? He has something for watering plants. Well, let's read the story and find out what today's story is all about. It's called Green is a Chili Pepper. And you know something super cool about this book? It actually has a signature from the illustrator. That's the person who draws the pictures. So how cool is that, that the person who drew the pictures, he actually signed this book. That's always cool when you get a story and it has an, a signature or an autograph. I think it's an autograph in it. All right, let's get into today's story. Red is a rista. Red is a spice. Red is our salsa on top of rice. Ooh. And look, it even tells us how to say red in Spanish. It's roja. That's cool. And look, here's a picture of lots of different red things. Those look like red peppers, I think. And I think I see some red yarn on the ground. And look, it says right here, red, roja. So this book is interesting because it has English words and it has Spanish words. That's kind of cool. Red is a ribbon. Red is a bow. And skirts for ballet, flamenco, no, folklorico. You know what? I should have practiced my Spanish before <laughs> reading the book a little bit more. And look, you can see this little girl dancing. And she's dancing in a red dress. And look, again, it says red and roja. And then look, there's a record player and there's music coming out. And I think this boy, he's dancing too. He has his hat off like this. <laughs> orange are the marigolds on day of the dead orange are the platos for special bread ah and then it has the word orange and naranja which is how you say orange in spanish look do you see the different orange things? I see orange pumpkins. I see orange balloons. And remember they said platos? Well, that's plates. Do you see the orange plates with the bread on top? There's a lot of orange stuff in this on this page. Yellow is masa. We used to make tortillas, tamales, and sweet corn cake. Mmm. So, masa is like, um, I think it's corn. And they gave us examples of lots of different things that they use corn to make. Different types of food. Tortillas, like if you've had a soft taco. Also, tomales and sweet corn cake. And look, these are like, they look like little muffins. And they're all yellow. And in Spanish, the word yellow is amarillo. 
And look, they even have it right here at the top so that we can follow along. And do you see all the different red things? Well, these are tortillas. These are tamales. And this, I think, is the corn cake. I think. In this story, we're learning about colors. And we're learning how to say different colors in English and in Spanish. So that's kind of cool. Yellow are the stars that lighten the night. Yellow are faroles flickering uh, bright. That's cool. Can you see me okay? There we go. Oh, let me show you the picture. Here are the stars filling up and brightening the night. Do you ever see stars in the sky at night where you live? Here in New York City, there's so many lights everywhere on all the stores, on all the streets, that sometimes even at night, it can be difficult to see the stars. But sometimes when you're not in a really, really, really big city with lots and lots of buildings and lights, it's easier to see the stars. Green are the corn stalks. Green are the pails. Green is a bench for abuelas, tiles. Mmm. Well, let's take a look. This page is talking about the color green. The word green in Spanish is verde. Do you see anything green? Up, oh, I see these pails right here, or buckets. And, it, and if you look, I see corn inside. Let's look on this side and see if we see anything green. Hmm. I do see the corn stalks. That's just these tall things that corn grow on. And there's a little monkey on one of the corn stalks. That's funny. All right, let's keep on reading. Green is a chili pepper, spicy and hot. Green is cilantro inside our pot. Mmm, this story is making me hungry because it's talking about so many different delicious seasonings. And look, they, you, you see the little boy and the little girl and it looks like they're maybe getting some soup for dinner or for lunch. And look, the soup has hot peppers and <laughs> it looks like someone is putting what? Cilantro into the pot. Cilantro is a type of seasoning. Some people like it, some people don't, but I love cilantro. Oh, and the color on this page is green, verde. Can you say verde? Yeah, that's how you say green in Spanish. Blue is the endless sky above and handmade crafts for those I love. So on this page is the word blue. In Spanish, it's azul. So as we look at the picture, let's see if we can find any blue stuff. Hmm. Well, I see some cool blue stuff hanging from the tree. Hmm. And I see some blue yarn. Some of the children are wearing blue clothes. It looks like there's lots of blue stuff on this page, even the ladder. Do you see the ladder that the man is standing on? He's helping put the homemade crafts into the tree. Do you like to make homemade crafts? Maybe cards for people that you know um, or maybe you like to cut glue and paste and color different types of things. Those are all examples of crafts. Purple are the rides that swirl and spin. 
the Fiera prizes that we win. No, Feria. You know what? I should have practiced, practiced, practiced my Spanish. All right, this page is for the word purple. Let's see if I can pronounce it. For pura <laughs> or purpura. I think I'm gonna have to ask a friend to help me next time. Look, look at all the purple rides. It looked like they're at a circus or like an amusement park or a fair. Do you see all the different rides? I even see a Ferris wheel. Do you see the Ferris wheel? And there are people riding. That sounds fun. But going up really, really, really high could also be a little scary. All right. Pink are adornos and candles that glow. Pink are pinatas. Watch out below. <laughs> Have you ever used a pinata? It's like a big paper something. It can be different shapes. It can be different sizes, sizes and colors. Um, but kids swing at it and hit it, and when they hit it, candy falls out. Doesn't that sound fun for candy to fall out everywhere? Um, let's see. There's lots of pink things on this page. Let's see if we can find them. Well, I see the pink pinata. It's right here. And then I see these streamers. Some of them are pink that are coming from the pinata. I see pink candy, and I see a big pink cake, and even pink candles. The word, the color pink in Spanish is rosa. Can you say that? Rosa. Let's keep reading. I'm learning so many new colors in Spanish. Still have to keep practicing, though. Brown is a churro. Mmm, warm and sweet, and homemade chocolate, a special treat. So on this page, we're learning about churros, and that sounds delicious. It's a dessert that's sweet and homemade chocolate. Mmm, well, let's see. Churros are long, long. Do you see them? Here's a churro. It's kind of like a really, really long piece of fried dough or something like that. And they're delicious. And do you see the homemade chocolate? I think she has some chocolate on the end of her churro. There are a lot of churros on this page. I have tasted a churro before, and they are delicious. Churros are delicious. All right. Oh, the word. Brown. Marron. Marron. Cool. Oh, the next page is white. Blanco. White are the flowers we put in a vase and sugar skulls and handmade lace. So here are all the white flowers. Do you see them? And I see the sugar skulls for a celebration called the Day of the Dead that they do in Mexico. And here's some lace. It's really cool. And it looks like I see two knitting needles right here. What is the word white in Spanish? Blanco. White are the doves that chatter and coo. And the palomitas for me and you. Palomitas? Hmm. What's a palomita? I'm going to have to look that word up. But look. 
the little boy is feeding something to the birds and it almost kind of looks like popcorn. I wonder what it is. And look, here's a white doll. Do you see the white doll? Remember, the word white in Spanish is blanco. I've learned so many new words in Spanish for colors. The world is a rainbow, rainbow of wonder and fun. Ribbons of colors roll, rolled into one. And ponchos, sarapes, and xylophones too, these beautiful colors are waiting for you. Oh, it's like a party. If you look, they're having a party. And guess what? There are lots and lots of different colors, especially on the xylophone. Do you see the xylophone? It's the person playing right here. Do you see that it has lots of different colors? That's kind of cool. And look, who doesn't like a good party? Well, that is the end of today's story. Well, Green is a Chili Pepper is a really cool book. I learned lots and lots of new words for colors in Spanish. I hope you did too. Well, thanks for watching Barbershop Book Storytime. If you would like to learn more information about Barbershop Books, you can visit our website at barbershopbooks.org. You can also connect with us on social media at Barbershop Books. Well, until next time, bye. <laughs>